Hey guys, it's John here. Uh, it is not New Guitar Thursday. It is actually Monday, and it's a dreary Monday, too. Uh, I'm supposed to be getting storms all day today. I don't know what's going to happen, but you know what? It's not going to keep us from having a good time in here. In fact, if you get a chance, come by the shop. Uh, we're all in here. Got a lot of stuff for shipping out today. Uh, a lot of stuff to talk about, of course. I uh, got a brand new unboxing that we're about to do. I uh, just got off the phone with a guy who talked about the Lava Me 3. Check out this demo we got sitting out here. Um, it is a super cool guitar. Um, I think he's uh, getting ready to purchase one. I think it's one of the coolest carbon guitars out there. They sound great. They play even better. And they have all the cool features, including that touch screen on the side. And this one's in the cool space charging dock which is really, really neat uh, as well. You just kind of set it in and go. But look at that. All the cool touchscreen features, including a metronome, uh, sound effects. Uh, there's a bunch of training tools that are really great for uh, being able to do your chord changes, so rhythm, strumming patterns, uh, note. There's actually an ear training one, which I found really cool. It plays a note, and you have to locate it on the guitar. And it uh, kind of keeps that. That all is tied to an app, and your practice schedule is actually even reported to the app, and then it is on your page, which I was looking at mine, because uh, we have this demo here, and people who have done the various different practices, it tells me how long they practice, what they were practicing, and their percentages, and you get to see a graph to see how much better you're getting. I think that's valuable alone. Not to mention the loop station that's built into it, the incredible sounding pickup, the really cool case, um, all kinds of stuff for it. I really think it's a really great value. I'm really excited to have it in here. So we do have that just came in. People are excited about it. I didn't talk much about the tree last week. Look at this. This is our sustainability tree. All the guitars on here are part of our new Shop Sustainable, um, the mission that we're doing a bunch with. So again, if you purchase any guitar that has a green tag or this Shop Sustainable logo, can you see that, Trent, right there? All right, if it has that logo on it, it matches our sustainability standard, um, which makes sure that there's no clear-cut woods in there, um, better, better uh, conscious effort to make sure that we're sustaining uh, the system that makes sure we can get better guitars. So that's really, really cool. Um, every single guitar that we sell, if it matches our shop sustainable uh, mission, we will be planting one tree in its place. If it uh, does not fall in our sustainable, and there are stuff in here. We want to see these companies do better. We're actually going to kind of do a little bit of an offset here. We're going to plant five trees in its place. So that'll be on your receipt. It'll be a kind of a cool thing to see, and we'll talk about it when you get in here. If you got any questions about that, do that. Also have the Diderio Playback, which is our string recycling program. Um, Trent, you can show that too as well. So that you can bring in your strings, set them inside there, and we will get them off to uh, Diderio where they have a system enabled to recycle strings. So uh, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty cool uh, system. So again, have that going on as well. Um, the main thing that we're going to talk about, though, today is this. Lots of cool uh, stuff came in, but Boucher, all the way from Canada, we just got in this new BG, which is the Bluegrass Goose 154, I think? 154? 152. 152. What is going on with this is uh, a Madagascar rosewood. Now this one's not going to fall in our sustainability. I can Madagascar's not known for its uh, sustainability uh, uh, guitars, or the wood is not. But that said, again, we will be planting five trees in its place. But it does have an amazing uh, pr uh, tone as well as figuring on these. So this will be the first one we've ever seen. This is a BG-152G. That means it has the gold pack added on. That's gold hardware and gold uh, or thermocured top. It kind of looks gold. And let's get this bag undone and see how this uh, made its way in. It's been sitting all weekend. Do you get this in on Friday or Saturday? Friday. Friday? Friday. Trent says it's on Friday. So um, it's been sitting. It's ready to go. I can't believe you guys left it for me. Lately, I've got all these people who are dying to see stuff, and they never wait for me to, to open stuff. They do it before I even get a chance. So let's see what this thing looks like. The standard Boucher uh, case. 
Again, the gold thermocured quad A top, koa wood binding, herringbone, and look at that. Madagascar rosewood back and sides. Again, this is kind of the closest to the um, Brazilian type of sound without being Brazilian rosewood. Oh, I'm talking and I can feel it resonating in my hand. It's pretty crazy. We'll catch you later, Roger. Yeah, we'll see you. Right, see you now. Let's see what it's... Oh, it's tuned up. Close, guys. What a great guitar. I'd say it's got a very tight, it's full, but it's a very tight low end, like, like very compact and, and punchy. Again, now the Bluegrass Gooses all come with inch and three quarter nut uh, width. So that is definitely uh, more popular for most of you guys, a very well set up. Great sounding guitar. This thing is incredible. So this is our first BG-152, and we did it unboxed live for you. It has the uh, thermo-cured Adirondack spruce top, Madagascar rosewood sides and back. I'll get all the cool specs on this as I uh, get a chance to look through it. It's all new to me as well. So I think it's a fabulous sounding guitar. It's going to make somebody very, very happy. So again, hopefully we'll get photos up and you'll be able to see it on the site. Very shortly, the BG-152G from Boucher. Again, look forward to all this week. Lots of great stuff coming in. Um, got some a whole bunch of new breed loves that just came in. Speaking of our sustainability, um, got, got the new concert. Hopefully, I'm going to talk to Jeremy about getting those uh, tickets up for sale very shortly. The Chapmans will be playing a show May 21st, I believe it is. 21st, I think. I'll check on that. Um, it, uh, so be looking for that. It'll be a whole bunch of fun here at the Riff in Springfield. Uh, first major concert for the Chapmans in a while. And it is the 21st. Good. See, I'm being updated. The 21st for sure. All right, so I'll have tickets hopefully on sale this week. And uh, we'll have a good time. So anyway, we'll be back tomorrow with uh, Jackson's Takeover Tuesday on Tuesday, of course. Mandolin Monday, has it already been posted? Not yet. Not yet, so Mandolin Monday will be happening very shortly. Look for that. Tuesday is uh, the Takeover Tuesday. Wednesday is Shop Talk. If you've not watched Shop Talk, you really need to. It is a lot of fun. That's on almost every one of our uh, different uh, platforms. It's where me, Jeremy, and Jason kind of sit down. We play music. We talk about stuff. We answer your questions. We, uh, we talk about what's current and happening in the world, TV shows, movies, whatever you want to talk about, we're going to talk about it. Wednesday. What is Wednesday? May the 4th. May the 4th. Oh, May the 4th on Wednesday? Shop Talk Day? What? You know what? I may play the entire guitar with a lightsaber. I, I, may, I may cut a guitar in half with a lifesaver. That would be a lightsaber. That would be awesome, right? Yeah. Just cut something right in half. All right. Uh, Thursday is going to be New Guitar Thursday, of course. Friday is do whatever you want to do Friday. I don't know. Just leave me alone. Okay. 
I didn't ask you. Anyway, join us for all this. And again, uh, uh, we'll say what's real fun on Thursdays as well is we uh, we do we go live on TikTok all throughout the filming. We we film on Thursdays. That's where we film all the YouTube videos uh, and things that you guys are doing. And we go live on TikTok, so we answer a lot of questions on there. So if you get a chance, uh, check that out as well. You can kind of see that while we're doing the uh, other stuff. So anyway, there you go. This was uh, a, just a crazy unbox of a Boucher guitar, just for the heck of it. Uh, again, look for uh, Mandolin Monday just in a little bit.